Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I am back with another Faith Planner process video. I had jumped on Instagram stories yesterday. If you're not following me over there, you should be because uh, I asked what you guys wanted to see on my spread this week uh, just to get some suggestions. So I had suggestions for rainbows, bunnies, <laughs> paper layering, um, mixed media, and something simple. So I think I got some of you guys covered, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm using the Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams collection. I have the digital collection that I print and cut um, using my Silhouette Cameo, um, but you can buy these pieces as physical pieces also. So I'll link both of those down below for you guys. Um, mine are just printed on 65 pound white cardstock and I just pulled out a bunch of different pieces and we're gonna do some layering. So I kind of have everything staged where I want it and we can start sticking things down. Now I use a lot of dimension on this spread. You may not want to do that because it, it might cause problems um, when I go to write on future pages past this, but um, I was just kind of playing and having some fun. So. We're going to do some layering with the paper pieces, but we're also going to add in some textures. So I have some gold thread here that I'm going to kind of nest behind this little bird. And to make things easier, I add my foam adhesive or your regular adhesive, whatever you're going to use, to it first, to that bird piece first. And then I'm going to create my little nesting of thread. And that way I can immediately stick down that other paper piece to hold all that together. Now, it wasn't quite how I wanted it. I know it needs to look like it's just unnatural, but you do have to fuss with it a little bit. So I can pick it back up and kind of pull things around and it helps that it's sticking to that foam adhesive. So if you don't want all of the dimension, you can switch out the foam adhesive for just regular adhesive um, and do it that way. But uh, adding these little thread details is a nice way to add texture without actually like running your page through a sewing machine or something like that. Um, and it just is a lot of fun to play with and adds some layering to these pieces. So here is a metallic marker from scrapbook.com. Or no, I'm sorry, it's, it is from scrapbook.com, but it's from a Ranger Letterate collection. And so I just drew in some details there. And I'm just trying to kind of keep the colors balanced. So I'm working with black, pink, yellow, and that kind of minty green color. And I'm trying to equally distribute it around the page, but also leave myself plenty of room to write out my verses. And I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I woke up with a horrible sore throat, so we'll see how videos go this week. I have several videos filmed for this week, um, but I'm not sure if they're going to get edited and uploaded, so <laughs> we will see. That's why today's is a little bit late getting up there, but here I'm going in and adding a doily. A sweet subscriber sent this to me and it's just going to add some more texture. So try things out. Do little tryouts. You can see I tried out that pink doily. It wasn't quite right so I switched it out for something else. Um, until you've stuck adhesive down you don't have to commit. So you can kind of stage everything. You can see here I cut off the leftover bits of the doily and I'm trying to see if I can use even those little scraps and they do end up working on this little layering piece there. I have to admit, I'm quite proud of myself for incorporating the bunny suggestion. It just happened that this collection, Chasing Dreams, has all these little bunny images. And so I think that totally, totally worked without being obvious in your face, Eastery <laughs> layout. Yep, so just sticking, sticking things down, nothing crazy. I like using the dot adhesive because if it gets on anything else, like you could see I applied it to the back of these little doily pieces, I can just rub it off of anywhere where I don't want it as long as I get to it pretty quickly. It's not permanent right away and so I can rub off all of that extra. So I definitely prefer to use dot adhesive over just regular <clears throat> straight line adhesive. And yeah, I don't think I used anything other than the Chasing Dreams collection. The digital collection comes with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of elements. It's kind of crazy. The If you get the physical ones, these are all different. Some are stickers, some are chipboard, some are papers. Um, they're all kind of different like mediums. They do have some gold foiling and some vellum and things like that. So you kind of miss out on that part if you have the 
um, digital collection, but it is nice that I can go back in and print out multiples of pieces that I really like. Here, my tiny attacher was a brat and was not working right, so I ended up having to go off screen and fix it. Uh, yes, you can see the staple on the back side of the page, but it's, it's up in the top and it's pretty small, so I'm not too worried about it there. And here I'm going to pop up this piece with foam adhesive as well. I believe I got these squares from the dollar store or the Dollar Tree. Um, and it came with these bigger squares and some smaller squares. And it's perfect for just quickly adding some dimension to pieces like this. So again, I'm going to add a little nest of thread over here. And then I've got that um, word piece all ready to go over the top of it as soon as I get that laid down there. And so let me know in the comments down below what are some other techniques that you would like to see um, in these faith planner videos. I'm kind of running out of new exciting things. So leave me suggestions and I'll try to incorporate those in future weeks. Here I'm going to use um, some texture paste, which you've seen a lot of, if you've been following me on Instagram and watching as I work through the 100 Days of Bible Promises. And so I've scribbled out some Pink Matter Lake um, Big Brush Marker on a Bible mat, and I'm going to use that to color my texture paste. And this stencil here I created using my Silhouette Cameo and some like binder dividers. I have a video, I'll link it down below for you guys. Uh, after I show these, I get a lot of emails and requests to purchase these stencils or for me to send them to you. Um, I can't do that. These are files that I purchased from Silhouette Studio and they do not have um, licensing where I can reproduce or sell these. So um, I would just encourage you to get online and look for different um, stencils. Scrapbook.com sells stencils. You can find some on Amazon, Michaels and Hobby Lobby. All those places have stencils. And so just find some that are um, similar or I try to look for designs that I know that I'm going to use over and over and over again and um, go that route. It is nice to, that I have my silhouette machine because if I ruin the stencil, I can just recreate another one or I can resize it. Um, I can cut it out of, you know, different mediums, card stocks or the, this thin plastic. Um, so it is convenient, but that machine definitely is an investment, but I try to use it as often as I can to get my money's worth out of it. If you do a lot of print and cut, or if you want, if you're pretty comfortable with a computer and want to um, create your own stencils, create your own cut files, that kind of thing, then it might be worth looking into. I will link it down below for you guys so you can check it out. And I do have a few um, Silhouette Studio tutorials on my channel also. And so what I did is I mixed up some Pink Matter Lake with the texture paste and then also lo um, Light Fallow Green. And I can kind of selectively push that through this stencil and here is where you get the mixed media. So trying to incorporate all those suggestions. There was a suggestion for feathers um, and so I was watching tons of videos on how to do watercolored feathers and feathers with brush markers. So that might be coming in a future video because that looks like a lot of fun. I couldn't naturally incorporate that into this one. So. I did go ahead and dry all that texture paste with my heat tool, just being careful because it will make it bubble if you linger too long in one spot. And then I went ahead and just added that little word fetty piece and then I can just push this right back into my planner. I did take my scissors and make a little slit into each one of those holes and that's how I'm able to remove those pages. So that's it for the spread this week. Leave me any questions or comments down below as well as suggestions for future planner videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you were inspired and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Head on over to the blog for more links and close-up photos of today's spread. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.